Oh my god. Oh my god. He actually got it. He actually got it. Oh my dears. Look at this thing just shredding there. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to once again another video on the channel. Today we're going to be playing some zombies on D Machine. Just seeing how high of a round we can get. But we're going to be using this PPSH. Now I've not used this on zombies yet. I've only used it on multiplayer. As you can see it's level 22. But I've just unlocked this blueprint off the battle pass called Loud Pipe. And it cycles through the different camos. Uh, as you can see on the screen there. All the different camos. I think there's only three different camos. Um... But it is a Mastercraft bundle, so you do get um, some decent attachments, as you can see, Task Force, um, and then the last two grips and stocks. But I've put a couple of other attachments on, like the salvage drop rate and the equipment drop rate. And uh, we're going to hop in a game and see what this thing does on zombies. But like I say, I want to try and play zombies a lot more on this channel, because I love Cold War Zombies. And um, I just think there's so many more videos to be made. I'm actually going to stick some double weapon XP tokens on. I'll stick a 1 hour and 45 on. Get this PPSH ranked up. So, let's go. So the zombies has been out for quite a while. Um, it's I'm quite upset to be honest that I didn't start YouTube earlier when Cold War Zombies first released because maybe I would have had a lot more content to make videos on. I feel like I'm kind of late to the party now. Um, now that I've just started YouTube and we're like halfway through uh, Cold War's life cycle. So, but it's a good, a kind of good thing at the same time that there's only two maps that have been released, so there's plenty of time to get uh, more content for zombies. Straight away, guys, this is insane. You can see the pipe on the side; it's got flames coming out of it, and we're not, we haven't even got the first Mastercraft camo yet. Camo, not that we need it this early. Usually, what I do um, on early zombies rounds is it's one hit knife until round 11. So I usually knife all the way up until round 11. Leave a zombie at the end of round 11 and then go and open all the doors, get pack a punch open and whatnot. Because I, f I feel like it's just the easiest way to set up. You get the most points. Some games you get lucky and you get the uh, the level multiple, 1 armor upgrade and several double points. Thought that was going to be a double points there. But it's an insta. I'm not too bothered about insta on early rounds. Um, and hopefully we get a lot of salvage so that we can upgrade this thing straight away. So the recoil on this thing is like very bad to be honest. So I can't wait to pack a puncher and just get it up to, to how it needs to be. Get dead shot and stuff like that. So dead shot's a very good perk to have because it pretty much is effortless aiming. And you can just get headshots like it's nothing. I've always thought Deadshot's probably one of the most overpowered perks, to be honest. Ever since, like, when did it get introduced? Like, Call of the Dead, black, back in, like, Black Ops 1. There's a double point, so that's nice to set up. I'm pretty sure it was Black Ops, like, Call of the Dead. That's when Deadshot Daiquiri got put in the game. And it's been in, like, ever since, and it's still the most overpowered perk there is. Nice bonus points there. See, that's what we need. We need all the bonus points, all the double points we can get. Um, we still haven't got level 1 armor, which is always nice. I always think of these things when I'm setting up in a zombies game. It's like, if the level 1 armor drops, then you set the go because then you don't have to spend any salvage on the armor. On the first upgrade armor. Uh, also, getting a lot of the salvage is nice. We've only got 800 on round 7, so it's not the best. But I hope this PPSH is like the same damage as it was on like World of War and Black Ops 3. Because I even remember when it came back on Black Ops 3. We were just all so hyped, and it was actually a nice gun on that game. Um, they didn't actually fuck it up, but we'll see what it's like on this game. I'm going to just train it a, a little bit, and I'm going to use Ring of Fire, and just see what Ring of Fire does on, on the early rounds. I think we're set to go now. Got Ring of, Ring of Fire tier 5 on, so this should be good to help us. The recoil is very bad, I'm not going to lie, but this thing just shreds. Fair enough, it's not upgraded, but the Ring of Fire, oh my god. And there's, there we go, level 1 armor, C4. So guys, once I've set up completely on like um, round 12, round 13, I'll pretty much just be cycling the rounds. Because um, obviously I haven't had that many kills with the PBSH yet, so the reactive camos aren't going to start till about round 15, 16 anyway. But I'm going to try and get to, let's say, round 50, that's the goal, um, with this thing and see what the damage is. And we're going to upgrade it to the max and see what the damage is all about. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be uh, trying to edit this gameplay as much as possible because I know zombies are quite boring to watch over time. Um, so yeah. Double points, that's what we want, right at the start of the round as well. This should get us up to about 25, 26k points. 
and then by the time we hit the end of round 11 we should have about 34 35 care points that'll open the pack a punch for us get everything set up get the perks that we need get the ppsh pack a punch and then we can start upgrading this thing and see what the damage is like. Hopefully we can get the ray gun this game. I'm going to do the little easter egg for the um, for the free weapon and the free jug. If you don't actually know how to do that, then stay tuned because you will find out. I'm not going to do a dedicated video on it because like I said at the start of the video, I feel like I'm quite late to the party with the zombies content on this game. But I'm going to keep pushing and keep bringing things out. Uh, but little things like easter eggs on past maps and stuff I'm not going to bother with because I feel like those videos have already been made by so many other content creators and it seems a bit pointless for me. There's the first reactive camo guys. There it is. Not looking the best, but still quite cool. I like the little purple fizzle. That's quite cool. You know what, I don't actually know how I feel about the reactive camos getting unlocked so early. Maybe I feel like a couple of thousand, uh, wait, maybe not a couple of thousand, maybe a thousand kills would be acceptable. You know, but 200 kills, you get that more or less straight away. And then there's nothing else to kind of unlock for the gun. I feel like you should be able to get a thousand kills for like a tier 4 camo or something, instead of just having three camos and... All the camels are unlocked after 200 kills. I accidentally I was talking for too long and I accidentally went on around 12, so it's not a one knife kill anymore. So I'm gonna um, get Ring of Fire active again and just leave a zombie at the end of this round instead and then go and set up. Because we're on 34k points now, so more gone. than enough points to set up. As you can see, I actually got Quick Revive on the way down here. I always do that because in Cold War they actually added it so that it's faster health regeneration, not just like you revive people faster. Um, but obviously quick revive doesn't work properly on this game because you've got the self revive in the bottom left there um, So Cold War Zombies is a lot different to like BO3 and stuff. See what we can do with this. Oh Yes, we can we up yes, we can upgrade it to rare. There we go two upgrades already for the PPSH I absolutely love how what they did with the perks was they made upgradable perks so that you can literally upgrade them and uh, have different features on it. The elemental pop actually has a feature on tier 5 upgrade where you can actually get electric cherry um, and I'll actually show you that later on in this game but I think that's just crazy like they put putting other perks into like singular perks if you know what I mean um, so they're really expanding on the zombies thing I just hope with the new maps that they bring out new perks and stuff alright guys we're gonna get our first pack a punch here there's our first pack of punch for the PPSH. Doesn't change the camo obviously because we've got the Mastercraft reactors on. Um, but yeah, can't wait to see the damage on this. Obviously we've got a rare variant. Um, so if you didn't know on the Easter egg, this is how you do it. You've got these, well first you need to get the pack of punch activated. And then you've got several orbs to shoot around the map. So I'm quickly going to show you here, you've got this orb up here. Shoot this one. And then as you come down just above the pack of punch stairs, you've got this one under here. And then if you keep going down, all the way down the steps, under this barrier here. This one's quite hard to see, but if you shoot it there, you'll see it disappear. Other one, hop on top of this kind of air generate event kind of thing. And uh, if you've got the right hit reg, you'll be able to get that one as well. And last but not least, I'm going to kill the zombie for some points, if it actually decides to come here. I forgot it wasn't one hit knife. There is another one, hidden, on top of there. And what this does is it teleports you into, um, well, the same room that you're already in. But it makes all the zombies dance, you'll see in a sec. You see, you haven't seen a cooler zombie easter egg. Oh my god. That's just born, no flesh. Not gonna lie, they really did a good job with, like, the detail on the zombies on this game. You don't actually realise. And if you've played Firebase Z as well, you'll know that all the, car all the zombie skins are different on that, on that map as well. I'll have to play that map on um, on this channel and do the Easter egg, an Easter egg run or something like that. Oh, I thought I was gonna get it. I got the stoner instead. And there's the second reactive camel. These dogs are so overpowered. What's happening? As you can see here, guys, this is the second reactive. This is looking sexy, man. Oh my god. Oh my. I cannot get over this reactive camel. I can't wait for the green one now. This, I think this one should have been the top one. This is the first time me playing with the PPSH and with this blueprint variant and so far I'm loving it. I love when they add guns into the game and you can just try new things and you just 
kill zombies with new weapons. I think it's so cool how they're just constantly adding stuff into the game. Alright, this thing shreds for a pack of punch <laughs> For a pack of punch one weapon, holy. I just took out a whole horde with one mag. Let's see what it does against the Megaton. Okay. Okay. Okay, well I'm nearly down, but I managed to split it with under one mag. Oh god. Okay, so it just shows how fast the Megatons get destroyed by this. Oh my dears. Look at this thing just shredding there. You saw the camo change as I was aimed in. Oh, there it is. There it is. The green variant, guys. We're actually going to go and get this thing pack a bunch too as well. Can't quite upgrade it to epic yet, but not far off. Oh, this thing. Such a nice blueprint, that's not going to lie. We'll get elemental pop so I can show you the electric cherry. You get electric cherry. How cool is that, man? This has been in the game for quite a few weeks now. Uh, well, a few weeks, I should say, a month. It's like BO2 days, Mob of the Dead, back again. The one thing I don't like about this PPSH is the recoil. It's got quite a lot of recoil on it. Um, but apart from that, it's a high damage gun. The camos look sick. Personally, I like the yellow more than the green. I think the, the, uh, the green should have been second and the yellow should have been top. But that's just personal preference. And I really do th believe that they should do the four camo thing. So, like, I've had 200 kills with this gun now and I'm on the top variant. I feel like there should be a fourth camo that you can unlock by getting, like, let's say, a thousand kills. I've had 400 kills so far. And it should be, like, a really sick one for the fourth. But I hate dogs on this game, honestly. Look at that, how much they lunge towards you. I hate that. Alright, we've got our second Megaton of the game spawning in. Um, still got this thing, well, it's Pack-a-Punch 2 now, but it's still rare variant, so we're just going to see if it does more or less the same damage. In fact, you know what? I'm going to get this new. This new will get it half health. Um, and then we can take the rest of it out. See, I'm not even shooting it directly in the, like, in the face, and it still did quite a few. Quite a lot of damage there. We'll get Ring of Fire on the go, I can't be bothered to mess around. Still a really fast kill in this thing. This thing's still got damage, round 21, and it, ha it hasn't been moved up from Pack Punch to Rare Variant, and it's still got like all the damage there. Just realised as well, we've got 33k points, so we can go and get this thing Pack Punch 3 and Epic Variant, um, so we can really up the damage on this thing. And then this is where the prime rounds will be from. Um, all the way around through around the 20 rounds and hopefully through the 30 rounds as well when this thing's triple pack a punch it should just be a beast. It's still a beast now and it's not even fully upgraded. I'm actually excited to see what the damage on this PBS Edge is going to be. Triple pack a punched, epic variant, grizzly reaver. Just need one more upgrade to legendary and it'll be max. Holy this thing. I know it's only round 22 but this thing's effortless. The only thing I don't like is the recoil, but I'm sure there's attachments for that. Probably just have to put a different grip on. Yeah, this thing is so powerful. Oh my god. I love the drum mag as well. Just so nice, this. This is just OG zombies. That's what it feels like using this. Got ourselves our third megaton of the game. Let's see what the damage does it on now. I mean, we've got a triple pack of punch and epic variant, so... I think if we throw a monkey here, we'll be able to see the damage, truly. We're not going to use Ring of Fire first. Oh my god. Mate. Holy, I wasn't even using Ring of Fire, and I split it with half the mag. Nuke. Very quickly, and we'll see if this thing can tear through them without the... Yep. What did I say? Don't even need the Ring of Fire. Right, it's round 28 and there's another Megaton. We still haven't got this thing like legendary variant, uh, so we're going to see again uh, without Ring of Fire and test what the damage is like. Uh, uh, it's good, but it takes a lot of focus. You couldn't just like, you had to stay aimed in on that Megaton for quite a while, but that's without Ring of Fire and that's still not fully upgraded either, so it just proves they've done a successful job of like creating the perfect PPSH for zombies. I actually love this. It's so fun to use. 
1100 salvage. Now that's the blue salvage, that is. So now we can go and get ourselves the legendary Grizzly Reaper. Obviously, it all depends on attachments and stuff as well. I feel like I need a new grip because it seems to have a lot of recoil. Um, I would switch the attachments around because I know you can do that, but I'm just going to keep them how they are for now. These are probably the prime rounds. Like, in the round 30s till about round 40, it's probably the prime rounds for, like, the fully upgraded guns. That goes for any fully upgraded gun. Look at this. Still got 60 rounds, still got 30 rounds. And we nearly, not quite, but nearly took out a full horde. This is just going to be even more fun. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. How? 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 How did I survive? Oh my god. It's a good job we had insta kill there, otherwise, we definitely would have been down. I cannot believe I just went down there, that was just so stupid. First down of the game, round 33. That was unintended, that was just me being an idiot while training. As you can see though there when I came up, I like the fact that they had the, um, I think it's Quick Revive tier 5, is it? Or Juggernaut tier 5, it might be Quick Revive, where you kill a zombie to, to get back up. Guys, I don't know if this is some sort of visual glitch, but... What has happened to the gun? It's like purple and green pink blue personally i like this more is this supposed to happen is this a visual glitch or is this genuinely supposed to be the camel Let's just switch it around and see if it changes oh my god it hasn't changed guys this is what i was literally just talking about about the fourth camel because i'm on a thousand and six hundred kills now this is actually sick yeah guys it looks like this might be permanent this camel as you can see when i'm aiming in it's, it's literally changing colors from green, to purple, to pink, to blue. Alright guys, it looks like that was a, a visual glitch because it's gone back to how it was before, which is just like the standard green. So, I don't know, I, I'm quite disappointed to be honest. He's the fucking fog rolling in again. Oh my god, oh my god. He actually got us, he actually got us. This thing has passed its damage anyway. We need to use Ring of Fire now for it even to be good. Um, just took out a full hold there with Ring of Fire to be fair, but 828 stock and 138 in the mag. That's amazing. Right, this is without Ring of Fire, round 40. Still not too bad, to be honest. Not too shabby. Just not what I would have expected it to be for round 40. I would have I expected the damage to not be this bad until like round 50 at least. Insta kill and it's doing all right, but like I say, it's the same as last time. You need to have that accuracy there. You need to like not be aiming off the Megaton the entire time. So this now has no insta kill, no ring of fire, nothing. Yeah, that's not good enough. It's not good enough. It didn't even get down half of itself, which is a shame to be honest. I thought this gun would be a lot better than it is on high rounds. Skipping a few rounds ahead now guys, the PPSH is pretty much unusable. Um, round 48, it's lost pretty much all of its damage. By the time it reaches round 50, it'll just be unusable, so... There we go. We got the big 5 or Megaton did spawn in. Now if you don't know how to do an exfil, oh my god. I was going to say this is it, but that definitely wasn't it. Megaton trapping us in the doorway. This is how you do an exfil, boys. Where's he going? I hear when the Megaton can ship run away. What you're running away from? <laughs> how easy is that, man? How easy is that? And there we have it, round 50 with the new PPSH variant. Like I say, it lost pretty much all of its damage on like round 44, 45 I would say. 
Um, but nevertheless, it's it's a good gun. It's really fun to use on the early rounds. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some stuff to do today and I'm going to edit this video and I'll see you all in the next one.